Well, how are you doing? <clears throat> this is called Origin of the Nautical Mile. Um, this is the third video in this series that I've made. I've made two other short videos just before this. Uh, they can be found on my channel. Um, <clears throat> I may have to make a fourth, depending on our opposition, because our opposition have a very, very difficult time understanding this, as they have been making a claim for a long time now, which is not correct. And I'm showing how it's not correct. Um, I may have to make a fourth video, and in that I may need to use visuals, uh, the visuals of uh, the latitude and longitude grid, and explain a few things. But hopefully I won't. Hopefully this will get the message through. Uh, let's just say. <clears throat> but we'll see what happens. <clears throat> so, nautical sky minutes, or miles. An 88.3 degree angle taken to, to a celestial body will leave a deficit of 1.7 degrees of sky distance, which translates as 102 minutes of degree, also known as 102 nautical sky miles, which can then be transferred onto the Earth's surface as 117.3 statuate land miles. Nautical miles are sky miles, statuate miles are land miles. The difference between the two is as follows. Statuate miles are, distance, are a distance measured in feet and inches along the, sur the Earth's surface, but nautical miles are a distance measured in degrees and minutes and seconds of degrees along the sky via an elevation angle, also known as the Pythagorean 90 degree right angle, which is constructed via three straight lines, where the first line is a vertical zenith, the second is a straight line horizontal baseline, which becomes your zenith distance, and the third line is your angle line off of your horizontal. Your angle will be read and measured in degrees and minutes of degree, and these minutes of degree are nautical sky miles, and that is the reason why nautical miles can be used on the sea, on land or in the air, as they originate as minutes of degree along the sky, and the navigator then translates them directly one for one as nautical sky miles. These nautical sky minutes or miles can then be transferred onto the Earth's surface below, and then if one chooses, they can be converted to statuate land miles, feet, inches, meters, kilometers, centimeters, millimeters, etc. But they originate, but they originate as minutes of degree along the sky. So nautical miles are only just are only just a straight line sky miles. <coughs> Sorry. So nautical miles are only just straight line sky miles that are transferred from the sky to the Earth. They are nothing more than minutes of degree, which are only a straight line sky distance, which is then transferred onto the Earth's surface as another straight line mirrored distance. <clears throat> and the globe Earth has nothing to do with any of this, as is proven by the origin and purpose of the nautical mile. Hopefully this will get the message through. Our opposition are having a very difficult time with this, because they can't understand that they have been led to believe that the nautical mile is something that it's not. Um, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully there won't be a fourth video.